subscribers, friends of the channel South Africans, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we, we're going to be talking about uh, a very important uh, subject, a subject that's very close to my heart and as a South African uh, living in South Africa and you are a female or a father to a daughter, you, you often worry about um, issues uh, that relates to rape and especially uh, violence that is used when raping. And it's something that I thought that I could take a moment just to empower South Africans about rape and what constitutes a rape. And at, at, at the very depth of my heart, I want to just empower uh, victims of rape or potential victims of rape to understand one, when they are being raped or when they have been raped, but also two, to understand what to do when they are raped or are in a situation uh, of, 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 of being uh, sexually violated by, by, by somebody else without their consent. But also what one angle I want to do is that to empower would-be offenders or potential offenders to avoid situations wherein they can be uh, found guilty of, of rape. And, and, and lastly, essentially, is just to, 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 to also provide a clear direction where people can go and get help after the incident of rape has occurred. So I will deal with this in five series just to save data for you guys so that it's not long videos. And the first one looks at what is rape. And one, we understand rape often from a common law perspective where a man can rape a woman. Obviously, it would be the man putting his penis or, or a genital organ into the female's genital organ, uh, being a vagina. And, and even now, I think often for many of us, it's still very tough to comprehend the idea that a woman can actually rape a man or that a woman can rape another woman. Um, and, and often, I think, with, with the movies depicting prisoners uh, across the, the, the world and even in South African prisons, uh, it, it, we, we are at least getting familiar with the idea that a man can rape another, other, another man. So I wanted to deal with the three forms of rape, looking at rape, strictly speaking, and then looking at a new form called compelled rape, and then the, the last one called statutory rape. And I'll quickly just brush through the, the definitions and I'll read them. Rape, strictly speaking, any person, person A, who unlawfully and intentionally commits an act of sexual penetration with the complainant B without the consent of B is guilty of an offense of rape. So what we clearly have here is a situation where a person, whether male or female, uh, uh, penetrates sexually another person without their consent. That is the essence of, of, of it. So we're talking about a male on a female, female on a male, male, uh, male on a male and female on a female. Then there is the idea of a compelled rape. And it says, the definition says, any person, A, who unlawfully and intentionally compels a third person, C, without the consent of C, to commit an act of sexual penetration with a complainant, B, without the consent of B, is guilty of an offense, of compelled rape. So this is a situation where maybe through the barrel of a gun, a, a third person compels another person to basically rape another one. So, and, and the person actually used, being used as a tool is not consenting, nor is the person to whom the act is being done to, um, is, is giving also the consent. So we've got two people that are not consenting and we've got one that's used as a tool to rape another one that's not wanting. And that is actually the essence of what we call compelled rape. Then we've got statutory rape. Um, this is, we find in section 151 of the criminal law, uh, Sexual Offenses and Related Matters Amendment Act, 32 of 2007. Here we see that a person A, commits an act of sexual penetration with a child, B, who is 12 years of age or older, but still under 16 years of age, uh, despite the consent of B to the commission of such an act, the person then is still guilty of an offense 
of having committed an act of sexual penetration with a child. So this is a situation of children that are, remember, uh, above 12 but below 16. And these children uh, uh, may be ordinarily can consent. However, based on this piece of legislation, that consent uh, means nothing because you can still be um, found guilty of uh, 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 statutory rape. So that's another form of rape. So let's first then try to explain the terminology so that as we go forward in the series, all of us are actually um, in on one page in terms of what these concepts mean, because then it makes it easier for us to engage with the different issues. The first one relates to what consent means. One consent is, 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 is in, in my view, uh, and, and, and Sneiman deals with this and many other authors, is about voluntary or uncoerced agreement. So it is an agreement that is given freely, without fear, um, and it, nobody is forced to, to, to make that agreement. So it's done uh, in, um, out of free will. And then let's look at then the, the concept of uh, penetration. The concept of penetration, I think this is important. It includes any act which causes penetration. So it's any act which causes penetration. And it doesn't matter the extent. So it doesn't matter whether it's fully in or whether it's just on the edge. As long as whatever extent it is, it is in, then you are in for it. It doesn't matter the size of the organ or the object that is being used as long as it is in. And as I've indicated, it does not matter how deep it will still be an act of penetration. So it can be a, a one a genital organ of one person. Uh, in this case, for example, we'll use a man, the penis, for example, that goes into or beyond uh, the genital organs of the other person, in this case, uh, let's say a female, or not just the genital organ, but the, the behind. Uh, the anus, for example, the mouth, for example. So that is also important. And then it doesn't matter also, it can be any other part of, of the body, whether it's a finger, whether it's an object. Um, so that, that includes any part. It can also be the genital organs of an animal um, if they go in or beyond the, 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 the genital organs of the person or the anus, then we will have uh, the act of sexual penetration. And obviously then the genital organs of the animal then that go into the mouth of another person, then we're talking about sexual penetration. And I think it's important also that we earlier on already get to understand uh, the age of consent within the South African context. We've already understand that a child uh, under 12 cannot consent and then a child 12 but below 16 also the, 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 their consent really doesn't count much because you will still suffer from statutory rape but a, 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 then a, a child below 18 but then um, um, above 16 then on the closer reading in my view of section 151 uh, of Act 32 of 2007 the age it would seem of consent is 16. Now, if we look at the nature of rape, what is clear is that rape is a, is a criminal offense or a crime, and it's something that I believe must be reported to the South African Police Services or any other police station. Now, let's first understand, and I will re-emphasize this, who can rape? A man can rape a woman. This one, all of us know, we all appreciate, we all understand what that means, a man raping a, a woman. But now we also have a situation where a woman can rape a, a man and a man can rape another man. I think that that, that is also there. And, 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 and also we have a situation where a man can rape another man and a woman can rape a, a, another woman. Now, what are the forms? What are the things that can penetrate? The things that can penetrate, one is the genital organs, whether it's the penis in this case, uh, or an object, it can be a bottle, it can be a cucumber, it can be anything, 
and and then obviously it can also be the genital organs of an animal or the the a body part of an animal or the body part of of, of the person uh, you know any other part of the body of one person or any other part of the body of an animal and where would this penetration uh, go into because these are the things that can penetrate and then the things that can be penetrated into we talk about the the genital uh, the, the the genital organs of 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 the other person it can be both either the male genital organs or the female genital organs the anus or the it can be a penetration by mouth then who can be victims of rape one thing that's clear is that women can be victims of rape men can be victims of rape children can be victims of rape as well as babies can be victims of rape and so what is clear is that there will be rape when there is an act of sexual penetration of another person whatever gender because these are gender neutral they don't discriminate these laws without their consent and uh, so actually penetration is important consent is important and obviously is the other party so south africa that is the foundation i wanted to to set clearly now you've understood uh, what are the different forms of rape and who can rape and who can be raped and 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 and, and all those circumstances around rape you have actually gotten a good background so far so having said that thank you very much and i will then move over to the second series where we discuss then uh, the absence of consent in other words we look at situations where there is no consent so thank you very much and see you shortly